The National Academy of Sciences Prize in Food and Agriculture Sciences is an annual award being presented for the second time this year. It is also a $100,000 prize uh, endowed by matching gifts from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and the Foundation for Food and Agriculture Sciences. The amount of this prize puts it in the company of the World Food Prize and the Wolf Prize in Agriculture awarded in Israel. But unlike those prizes, uh, this National Academy of Sciences Prize in Food and Agriculture Sciences is an early to mid-career award recognized or de defined as having received a PhD within the last 20 years. And the research that the winner or recipient uh, has done was done in a U.S. institution. So this year's prize, and I'm excited representing the selection committee to announce that the prize for this year goes to Rudolf Barango, North Carolina State University, for his discovery of the genetic mechanisms and proteins driving CRISPR systems and their applications in food and agriculture, including virus resistance in the yogurt starter culture, Streptococcus thermophilus, and with potential for translational genetic editing in other microbes, crop plants, and livestock. And let me just add quickly that the discovery of the CRISPR-Cas9 system for precise and select genetic modifications is rapidly replacing recombinant DNA technology used for the last 40 years since the discovery of, res of, of restriction uh, enzymes for cutting and splicing DNA. And in fact, it's clearly the most significant discovery for this purpose since the discovery of genetic modification methods uh, by uh, endonucleases and, and uh, uh, restriction enzymes. So, Dr. Brongo. All right, good afternoon. I am uh, thankful to the National Academy of Sciences, the nomination committee, the selection committee, for their, their consideration and this tremendous honor. Um, I would also like to acknowledge the support from the Foundation for Food and Agricultural Research and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Uh, again, as a food scientist myself, I got my PhD in food science, I'm a professor in food science, I'm a food scientist, and, and this means a lot to me, and I'm truly honored to get the particular prize. Um, I would like to thank my mentor, Todd Klenhammer, who is here in the audience. I would like to thank my fantastic wife and my equally fantastic children, Benjamin, Emily, and Patrick. Um, I'd like to thank my collaborators, my students, my trainees, um, and everybody on Team CRISPR who's made this moment occur. More than ever, science is a team sport. I'm just one member on the team. Um, I quite look forward to using CRISPR. We've used CRISPR already to make a real difference in food science. If you've consumed yogurt or cheese at any given point in time anywhere in the world, since 2011, you've consumed a product that was industrially manufactured using CRISPR, and CRISPR enhanced starter cultures, notably Streptococcus thermophilus that we just heard. And I quite look forward, together with my colleagues, to use that technology now, in the future, to make the world better, to feed the world, to make f food taste better, to make it healthier, and more importantly, more sustainable. Thank you. <laughs>